All right, folks, this is Gray here, and today we're going to talk about what is the most important survival food and why. Now, we're going to do a little something a little different than usual, than, other than me just rambling on about what I think is the most important survival food and my perspective on it. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what I think is the most important survival food and the reasons why. Now, what I'd like to ask you, my viewers, if I could take a moment of your time, is if you can tell me what your most important survival food is and why, and you could drop that down in the comments. What I hope to uh, accumulate through this video is a huge list of a lot of people like myself, like-minded folks that are in emergency preparedness, like what do you consider the most important food and why and what you stock up in your prepper pantry. What I'm trying to get basically out of this whole thing is, is let's say, uh, you know, Jane says, well, I like to stockpile rice. It's the most important reason because of this, 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 and that. And then Mark says, well, I think this is the most important food and this and this and that, because here's what I'm hoping to happen. I'm hoping to have this master list of all of my viewers drop what they think is the most important food and why. Now, some folks may agree with what I'm going to tell you, talk to you about here today, but I also want for other folks that come across this video to kind of look through this whole comment section, like, wow, there's such a lot of information from a lot of different people. I want to involve you, my viewer, because I think that's the best way that we can all learn from just not my perspective, but the entire community. All right, so let's get into what I think is the most important survival food and why. What I've chosen for my survival food is dry beans. And there's a reason why I've chosen dry beans, because there's a lot of different reasons why that I feel that dry beans is one of the most important survival foods and that everyone should have some form of dry beans in their pantry outside of, let's say, black beans, kidney beans, red beans, uh, navy beans, any type of anything that's in the legume family. Dry beans are an essential part of any well-stocked pantry. Dry beans are one of those economical sources of nutrition. One pound of dry beans can equate to about 1,500 calories and 100 grams of protein, all for roughly about two bucks. Beans also are a great source of things like fiber, protein, iron, calcium, zinc, vitamin B, uh, and several other nutritional benefits. One half cup of cooked beans I think it equates about 115 calories and I think eight grams of protein if I got my math right. Did you know that beans are considered a superfood because they're one of the most nutritious foods that you can actually eat. Beans also contain disease fighting antioxidants. Uh, beans can help you with things like diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and also have cancer fighting properties. You can also take some of those dry beans and plant those out in your garden so that you can have kind of like a perpetual situation so that you can actually grow beans Harvest beans, you can use some for cooking and some for growing. So that's why one of the biggest key factors that I had to take away from this whole video is that why I think dry beans is one of those superfoods that everyone should have in their prepper pantry and why I think this is probably one of my top survival foods to stock up on. So another great reason why I think dry beans should be an essential part of everybody's prepper pantry is because of their shelf life. On average, if stored properly, dry beans can last 10, 15 years and your prepper pantry. Now that all being said, that means that you have to store your beans properly. Storing your beans properly means at least putting them in a food grade bucket, let's say like a five gallon bucket, food grade with some O2 absorbers. Now if you wanna take the extra step, you can actually add a Mylar bag, drop the beans in that, and then of course, you wanna drop some O2 absorbers, seal that up, put the, put the seal on and put those away and kind of like, you know, know that those beans are gonna be there for you for the long haul. All right, so that's why I think that beans are my number one survival food and the reasons why. Now, if we can kind of reference back to the beginning of this video, I'd love to hear from you, my viewers, if what you think is the number one survival food for you and your family. Maybe some of you folks don't like beans. You know, maybe your number one food is rice, or maybe it's whole grains or oats, and you can see how the list goes on. So I'd love to hear from each and every one of you down in the comments and tell me the reasons what your number one survival food is and why. Maybe it's beans, just like myself, or maybe it's something else. But anyways, I'd love to create this great discussion so that anybody coming across this video will have something that they can look at and kind of ponder a list of what things that they could stockpile in their prepper pantry. Uh, it's good not just to have one mind, but a hive mind of community members dropping that information down below. Anyways, folks, I want to thank you for your time and watching this video. Again, share this out if you can, because I'd like to get as many eyes on this as possible and kind of gather as much information from all the folks in the community. And I want to say thank you uh, for taking the time to watch this video. Anyways, I'm going to keep on rambling on. So I want to say, remember, folks, you are not alone. This is Gray Man. I'm out. I'll see you guys in a rebound and God bless.